This guncast is sponsored by Nobody. You's a broke ass nigga. I'm a broke ass nigga. We got no sponsor. Intimidated. Rah. Welcome back, Gunners. Uh, Guncast, episode 27. I am some douchebag named Ghost Boy Aki, and this is some other douchebag no. named Vicky De- Aurora Sex. What's up with that face? You sent your girl that selfie? Yeah. Nah, I gotta show that to the camera. Nah, we not. Nah. nah please, let me show we that. Close that. Yeah. What the? Yeah. Yeah, you gonna send selfies in the middle of a goddamn Guncast, yeah, dog? Man. Nice hoodie. Thinking about my baby, man. Yeah. Nice hoodie, man. That just dropped and just sold out. (laughs) Dope. Yeah, man. This gunner movement is real. Snows you lose, God. Snows you lose. I've been trying to tell people, man. You got to... You got to stay on the drops, man. You got to stay up on the drops. We're getting some dope stickers here. All badged up. Best one. Best one. Vicky's selfie. (laughs) (laughs) In a retard helmet. (laughs) In a retard helmet. Uh, How's your week, my nigga? Why are you always drinking and I'm always the one drinking water? I brought you one. No, no, I, 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 no, I seen it. I seen that's, it. That's for the truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's for yeah. the truck. Bought a truck today, ladies and gentlemen. Asked for some prayers from the gunners early in the morning and it came through. Um, got a 2019 Ram, 5.7 Hemi, Big Horn Edition. Um, and uh, I like it so far. Don't have to ask anyone to borrow their truck anymore. Big shout out to, to Russ and Ronnie and and Zeus for always lending me their truck to get up and down to these events. And I felt like it was time for me to own my own truck. Graduate. Yeah, it was time for me to stop being a lambon. Or zero lambon. I was being a lambon. Zero lambon. I was bringing it back washed, cleaned, and gas full, but I was being a lambon. Light on the ciggies. Light. On. Light. Light on the ciggies. Light on the ciggies. <laughs> Light. <laughs> Light on the ciggies. Light. <laughs> well, uh, my week was all right. No, my week was good. I ain't got no complaints at all. Not one. Thank From God. Monday to Friday, I got nothing. Thank God. Smooth sailing like this. Boss, I hope you ain't watching. I was like this. Just coast. Coast. Milking that clock, boss. Uh, first question. <laughs> first question. Here we I go. I think this is a good question. All right, here, we, here we go. Here we go. How important is it to put somebody in the groove? At the track or at the street? Oh, how important is it? Yeah. It's everything. It's everything in the short track if you're out of the groove. So that burnout that you did in third gear and fucking did a John Force, you know, 1,500 feet burnout means nothing if you're on the cold side of the groove. You have to be on the hot side of the groove. What's that mean? So in the groove, basically, you don't want to be the first one out. No. So, and you also don't want to be behind someone that's on a street radial or a street tire because they mess up the groove. So you kind of want to go behind like a muscle car, like a Camaro, big slick, big tire, and they widen up the groove for you and they heat it up actually for you. So you always want to go to the stickiest part in the groove and you pick the hot side, you'll feel it. As you're moving your feet from left and, and right or right and left, you'll feel that your foot is not sticking yeah. in a specific place. And then when you move it up, like six more inches, shoe pause. Come shoe come off. <laughs> shoe oh, come off. buddy, here we go. That's when you got to look at the driver. <laughs> you got to make the call like this. Go! Yeah, yeah, it's sticky! Yeah, yeah. Yo! <laughs> it's sticky! Yo, I remember one time, son. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Jamie, the track was there. I think he went 920s. The track was there. And I couldn't get my shoe off. And I had to like twist left and right because I didn't want my whole foot to come mm-hmm. out the sneaker. It was there. Mm-hmm. So I go into the window. I was so into it. Pause. I go into the window, the the, the, the windshield. I was like, yo, it's sticking. Make sure you preload. <laughs> this is him. Look. Yeah. Be like, get the fuck out yeah, the way, man. I got, like, I got it, man. I got it. Move, oh, man. man. That's, yeah, so that's basically <laughs> what it is. And in the street, it goes for the same thing. Mm. 
You have to be in the group. The street's even worse. I'm about to say, yeah, the street, obviously. The street's even worse. You got to take every advantage you can get on the street, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Leave, leave before the light. Yeah. Leave, leave before his hands. Word. Leave All while that nigga's still backing up to, to preload. Word. Just leave. leave. Just leave, leave man. man. <laughs> if you can get away with it, you see you see headlights coming, you won. Chase leave. race, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chase, man. If this man's man. like, yo, chill, no, yo, no, no, nigga, go, nigga, nigga, you won. Trust nah, me, that's it, man. You I'll won. be the nigga up top, fucking dying. That's for sure. I'll be out there cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be up there cracking. Nah, up. we've we've seen that. We've seen that a few times at street races, though, right? Where somebody was taking too long, and then the, and then one car just leaves, yeah, and everybody's like, yo, oh, where you going, man? I'm home, man. Man, fuck y'all niggas, man. They ain't got time for this shit, man. Went to go get a car wash. <laughs> what did he say? He went to go wash the car. He went to go wash your car. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out right, of here. I think that was, a, yeah, that was a good question. Niggas said Cardi B is in the next Fast and Furious, my nigga. Wow. How bad did they fuck up this series? Wait, if I'm not mistaken, this Fast and the Furious is not really Fast and the Furious. This is with um, The Rock. It's Fast and the Furious. Nah, it's ain't Fast and the Furious. They... Nah. It's Fast and the Furious, supposedly, or related, and they're saying Cardi B is going to be in there. Uh, Asuna, your boy. Asuna, oh, yeah. Yeah, your boy is going to be in it. And a whole bunch of other fuck boys that don't know what a dipstick looks like. And is... they are stealing from our culture. Is Jason Parks back in it? No. No? Who, Toretto? No, nah, nigga that died in the last one in, in the drift shift. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Parks ain't back in it. No, nah, I liked him. He was eating peanuts. <laughs> why Why you always compare every Asian that's above six feet tall to Jason Parks, man? Next question. <laughs> you fucking racist. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but, uh, hey, fuck you, Fast and Furious series. And Cardi B, listen. I fuck with you because you a hustler and you a grinder. And a hoe. Just throw that in there. And you throw that ass in a circle and I like it. Mm-hmm. But besides that point, get the fuck away from Fast and Furious, bitch. Yeah, that's true. You bringing down a, a depreciating the value of that movie. Absolutely. Offset, I would wash you hand to hand. Yeah. I would wash it's Offset three of them. hand to hand. I could have fight three it's of them? They're brothers. Oh, no. Two brothers and one's a cousin. Offset and Quavo are brothers. It's over. Yeah, no, you, you, yeah, you wash for sure. Especially if no, no, I think it's take no take off and Quavo are brothers. Offset is the cousin. I gotta shoot the I gotta shoot the I gotta run the fade wall three of them. Nah, you gotta fade one. And the other two are gonna jump in. Oh, the other two is washed too. Quavo, I put that kid in the standing suplex. It'd be the first time I try a wrestling. No, I've tried wrestling moves in street nah, fights. See, I'm about to say I've seen niggas do that in street fights. Nah, I've I've stone cold stunned a, a wrestler a, moves. I've stone cold stunned a, a grown ass man in, in real life. Real street fights. Word. Niggas is how they really do a wrestling. Word. Move. The chicken wing was the go-to. Yeah, the chicken wing. I hit niggas with the Shawn Michaels super kick before. Real life facts. The how uh, how your man to say. Funny. What's your man? Who, who says that? Gunner Red. Gunna Ain't Rad. that fool. No comment. Yo, next question. Yo, you got my man talking about what gear he was in. I, what I, mile an hour. No. The nigga said, comment. yo, run it back. My heated seats was on. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Love you, Chrissy. <laughs> oh, man. The meaning of time and place. I don't understand that bullshit. Good. When you are talking about fuel, you went 926. What, no, I'm sorry, you're not talking about fuel. You went 926, 926. All of a sudden, all of these questions from people that did support you came up and started asking about fuel. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, they try to blemish your accomplishments because of because this. of the fuel. Okay, so well, I'm time gonna, and place. All right, okay. so I, before we get into that, can we honestly say I was the sacrificial lamb last year at World Cup, which is the biggest event in racing? And you weren't the first nigga doing it. And yeah. I wasn't the first nigga doing it, but supposedly I was the sacrificial lamb. And now this year they have a class for it, and I'm banned for two years. Yeah, but no shade to Miller. Thank you. No shade to Miller, but I open the gates for you dudes, and you're welcome. Whether you want to say no, yes, my nigga, there's a nitro class now. Let me drive the boat. <laughs> yeah. So the well, meaning of time and place. Now, now further explain that question. All right. Is there a time and place to use nitro? No. Is there a time and place for everything? Like oh, that to comment ask being questions. made. Yes. Yes. People absolutely. in general. Absolutely. Listen to me. This has happened to ten out of ten people watching. 
There's always that one person that you thought was cool and will say some slick shit in a comment, whether it's on your post or someone else's post, that makes you question what his whole motive been the whole time. And that's funny. I catch him all the time. While yes. I make, other niggas post. Yes. Catch him all the time. Absolutely. So you'd have some people screaming that gunner world shit, you know, mm-hmm. keep gunning. Mm-hmm. And then on, other, on another page, we'd catch them capping. Mm-hmm. Fuck the gunners and this mm-hmm. and that. But the shit. gunners is on it. Yeah, the even... real 10 toe gunners, the wolves, not the sheep, they on it. Hey, yo, fam, you was just in Aki yeah. and Vicky's live. Getting a screenshot, sending it over. Oh, yeah, got, getting a screenshot, sending it over. Yeah, yo, you was just on, yo, this nigga was just on your live you know, supporting the movement, and now some doula on these mutt niggas page bashing you. And laughing. And la- yeah. Say <laughs> less, bro. Yeah, no doubt. What's your name? <laughs> Got you. Damn. Yeah. Why Aki block me? Yeah. Why Aki block me? Yeah. Cut your dick off, man. You don't deserve to bring kids in this world, you mutt. Damn. Fuck you. But there is a... There is time. a time and place, man. If somebody you see is succeeding and... You feel as though that that comp that comment might, you know, be frowned upon by that person that made the post. I don't even think. Keep they, it to your fucking I self. Don't even think that people think that. I can't even say they do. I don't. I think you they think really it's just natural. Genuine, yeah, they're just saying it and don't see anything wrong with it. Dead serious. If I'm happy and I'm enjoying what just happened and whatever whatever the case may be, why would you decide to say yeah, but? What about such and such and such? Exactly. The fuck are you talking about? Exactly. So let me put it in your scenario, bro. So let's say the RSX goes 11.9, mm-hmm. right? And you're happy. You make the post. Hey guys, we did it. I'm finally in the 11s. You know, I you know I want to thank everyone for helping me out. You're in a great mood. Mm-hmm. Now you might have 30 comments straight where people are showing you love, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Happy for you. They watch the come up. And then you got that one dude that you was cool with that might say, was it on Nitro? Oh, yeah. You... Or, yo, how much of a shot did you spray? You got to go. He might be an undercover hater, right? Yeah, you, you got to go. Yeah, you got to go. I know how to deal with them. A lot. And then you got to go. No, time and place, boys. Time and place. That's all I'm saying, Don't man. Don't get caught lacking. Time and place, man. Some t- and, and also, sometimes with you guys, since I have a huge following, and I'm, I'm not trying to make this about myself, but this can go in anywhere. If I'm giving a company a shout-out and I'm showing them love, they helped someone else, or, or we're praising them for all the support that they gave us, don't come in there and be like, yo, that clutch failed on me three weeks. I guess that's their way of looking out. Like, I guess. That's not looking out, bro. Time and place. Because if you follow the gunner movement and you follow me and Vicky, we could have taken plenty of sponsorships. But if we didn't believe in the actual product, we wouldn't be endorsing it. That's why there's only seven sponsors on the race car. That's why we deal with a core group of companies. I'm, I can pick up 15 more sponsors today. The marketing is there. The audience is there. The experience of hands-on work is their pause. We're a great return on investment. This gun cast has been a great return on investment. You don't believe us? Ask some of the sponsors. Yeah, that's true. Email some of the sponsors. Ask them, hey, was the ROI good on the gun cast? Now, we're just talking about this platform. Mm -hmm. Now, when it happens when when I'm supporting a company, bro, you can hit me up on the side. And I can probably take you further than bashing them in the comments. I can probably have them send you a brand new kit just to keep your fucking mouth shut from hating this on them. Is why they I don't want the bad review, yeah. I, and, and I respect it. Yeah, you got you got, you got to get a bad review at some point, too. Everything can't be all peaches and cream. It's time and place. Okay, my brother. Email them that bad review. Exactly. First, if yeah. you don't get no support... And they deaden you, then do you do what you, you got to do. Yeah. Absolutely yeah, do you, yeah. and guess what? I'll be there to support you. I'll be there to support you, the guy with the big following, the guy with the second following. I'll be there to support you. Are you right, my nigga? Yo, help like, yo, this look, man out. I keep trying. I keep trying. Yo, look, yo, guys, let me reach out. Hold on. Email them. I got nothing, man. I'm screwed out of this money. This, you know, this turbo didn't last a week. You know? Yeah. 
Then you gotta do you. Then you gotta do your thing. Thing. But I like that time and place. Next question. Time and place. Sammy the boy interview, man. Fire. Sammy is a rat. Six nine, one hundred percent. The interview, how he explained it. You could just say he's seventy nine years old. You said. Yeah, he's in the where 70s. his mind is. It's still there. He's Sammy's still a killer. Still, yeah. He tell, he tell you that right away. He tell you right away. That whole interview was so dope. It was so fucked up how John did him. Sammy Brandon the Bull... is two times, two stories, two sides of every story. Sammy the Bull Gavano was one of the most ruthless hitmen in the history of the Costa Nostra, That's all which is the mafia. Confessed to was 19. And he confessed to 19 murders and really didn't do no time for it. He brought down the entire organization of the mafia. Yeah, John got it. Do... I respect him not one bit. John Gotti, the boss, said, you got to take the rap. I'm the godfather. I'm controlling the mafia. We're in charge of a lot of lives. My people need me. My people need me. You got to go take the rap for this. Everything's going to be fine. Your family's going to be taken care of. Sammy the Bull said, yeah, okay. The next day he went to the FBI and ratted everyone out. Yeah, I got Sammy you. the Bull Gavano, I don't care how much of a killer you are. Yeah, I got you. He knows, though. You're a fucking he, he rat. Knows. He knows. And he I don't knows. agree with that. But the interview was a good interview. The, inv- the interview was crazy. Was His story is crazy. <clears throat> yeah. He was still a criminal. Guys, this guy did over 20 years in jail after rat- ratting out the mm-hmm. mafia. He was still getting caught for stupid shit. Drugs, this, that. Um, that Gotti movie I told you about? Yes. If you really pay attention to that, he referenced... Every a lot of the shit like with him and uh, with John Gotti in the jail and him getting his boy out of jail was real. Sammy mm-hmm. like he explained that situation. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, that was in the movie. Yeah. And then he said that like, this movie Gotti probably was the closest. Yo, that like, movie's yeah. fire. He said that was probably the closest. That yo, movie's like, yeah. fire. Where can he find that movie? On YouTube, YouTube right? On YouTube. Yeah. Uh, John Gotti. John Gotti. That's, that's it. That movie. It's about two hours and something. That's how you know you have the right link. I could watch Jeff it every and, day. Man. Yeah, I could watch it. I could watch it right now. It's yeah, an amazing I could movie. Watch it every day. Um. What do you feel? What do you feel about him, bro? Like, do you respect him? I, I, nah, listen, we know he put did. the murder game down. Yeah. We know, and I don't even think, all right, whatever. Well, he said a lot of We're the murders he didn't in the do, streets, he guys. planned it. He said, you know, a lot of those murders I didn't do, I just planned them. Mm-hmm. Which makes me an accomplice off the rip, so yeah. I get murder. I get uh, life anyway, just for being an accomplice. Yeah. <clears throat> it's so. crazy, because last year we ate at that steakhouse, Sparks, Sparks. where they killed uh, Castellano. Where John Gotti killed Castellano, and shit. that's when he, yeah, yeah, Castellano was a was a mutt. Yeah. He was taking the mafia. He was penny pinching. Yeah, him. he was penny pinching the mafia, <clears throat> and he was giving the money to other organizations that yeah. were helping nothing for the community or the mafia. Guys, we're just talking what we know, you mm-hmm. know, what whatever we learned. Or These ain't facts. I, we don't know if they're facts or not. <clears throat> but we ate at that steakhouse, Sparks. Um, very expensive. Um, but was it worth it? Definitely something you want to experience. Spark Steakhouse in uh, in Manhattan. Better than Benjamin's? No, it is not better than Benjamin's, but it's definitely a great experience. You can feel the history when you walk. Like you when you're wa- yeah, like when you're walking to the sidewalk. Like so, check out check out the whacking of Costa. Right, he right, died yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 I get you. this guy was the the godfather of the mafia, and they whacked him right here in the front. Him and his driver. You know, you're whacked. That shit was so dope. But um, yeah, Sammy the Bull, you're a fucking rat mutt. Go fuck yourself. I don't care how much of a killer you are. It's my opinion, nigga. <laughs> It was dope, though. <laughs> no, it was a great interview. <laughs> Guy tells a good story, man. I want to go to a haunted house, bro. What are you doing for Halloween? <laughs> Halloween, I'll be on the road, bro. 31st? Where you going? No, Texas. I thought Texas was, like, in the middle. November 3rd. Oh. We got a lot of driving oh, to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you man, it's going to suck, man. Who's Hopefully, taking the poop out? Uh, no, my, sister, no more. my sister's going to do Halloween with him. What does he do? What does he dress with? Um, He's going to be, like, some evil uh, <laughs> uh doctor. Like laboratory doctor. This smart ass kid, man. Yeah, Get out of geek, here, man. man. Trying to be drug dealers man. and robbers back Samir's in the day, man. Geek, man. <laughs> smart ass kid, man. Who's trying to be an evil doctor? Samir's a geek. Samir got no glasses and still goes like this. <laughs> don't talk about my man, so. Nah. No, chill. 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 chill, 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 chill. Did you get to see that bully interview? Nah, I didn't get all the way through it. 
You, did you watch any of it? A little bit. I, yeah. I, really, I was driving. So not, yeah. not a lot. Yeah, no, I watched it yesterday. Bully and Chrissy, our boy Gunner Red, uh, that race Vicky. Uh, he was uh, the one that was food. Oxtail, rice and peas, mac and cheese. Look at my face. Because you know he was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't say. Fried plantains. <laughs> ginger beer. <coughs> ginger beer. Ginger beer. Yeah, ginger heavy beer. on the ginger. Heavy ginger beer. Two big ginger beers. Jamaica one. You know what I'm talking about. Yo. Twist off. Nah, that's a good shit. Twist off. Yeah, twist off. Yeah, twist off. Yeah, twist, off yeah. it's twist off. Yeah, but I watched the interview yesterday and... um. Man, so many. Like, where's he gonna go? Like, I, f I like Bully, man. I you think know? he's just beating no. a dead horse. I would have never been talking about. I'd have, I'd have left. Nah, him I mean, but he had the. Ex Yo, bro, you know what though, my nigga, you gotta, you gotta defend yourself. Bro. Some of the shit that I was listening to him say, I believed him. No, I believe yeah, him still. I believe him. No, I know him personally. We both know Bully personally yeah, I from believe Block. Do you getting a restraining order and, and giving him one? I believe that. Yeah, no, it comes. It's yeah, mandatory yeah, in court. It. He don't even have to sign it, but. You're right. He is beating a dead horse, but at the same time, he's still trying to clear his name. People I, really think he's a rat. He's I a snitch. He's not. Because, like, of, man, because of them disowning is. him made it harder for him to do that. Because of them doing that. They did. Listen. I know loyalty when I see it. And I have to appreciate loyalty more than the dollar. What he was trying to explain in the interview was this. I've been putting in pain for y'all niggas on the road, in the town. For you niggas to even question me that I might be a snitch got me feeling some type of way. I believe it. So, mind you, this is our town. We all see each other. We see Kiss. We, we ain't <clears throat> see Sheik in a minute. No, I see him. I ain't see Came out of Carlos. Word? Yeah. I ain't see <laughs> Sheik in a minute. God bless him. Hope he's doing well. We see Kiss, we see Styles P, yeah. we see Bully, we yeah. see Chrissy. Chrissy is with Bully. Chrissy be in the garage with us. Y'all seen him in here. Mm. But, um... Chrissy looked good on camera, too. Chrissy? Yeah, he, did, he, did good. he did a good job. He yeah, good but job. they said he had the snitch jacket on. No. That was dying. <laughs> I, didn't, I, Yo, I, didn't see, I didn't get that YouTube far, comments man. is some funny motherfucker. <laughs> oh, 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 nigga oh. said, Yo, niggas, some, one nigga wrote, Yo, Bully, you might not be a snitch, but your man's jacket is. <laughs> See, that man, shit, that man pops. Yo, Chris, man. You don't throw that Burlington factory <laughs> shit out, man. Get the fuck out of here, Chrissy. That's Bob's fucking jacket you yo, got. Yo, this nigga Chrissy. But, yo, Christy, Chrissy kept it a million dollars in the whole interview. He's like, yo, I'm with my man. This don't make sense. And he had some strong points. But, um... Great interview, man. Even the Judge Judy shit made sense. Like, yeah, she's supposed... I've never seen her interview anybody and her look like an idiot. Yeah, she flat out told them, I, I get paid a certain amount of million yeah, dollars... To, I believe that. To, to, ...to discredit you and make fun of you. 100%. So, I believe that part. It's for TV. It's for ratings. Mm -hmm. He did a big mistake. Going. Going. And I, th and I think... All right, he was subpoenaed, but he didn't have to agree to be on television. The reason he agreed to be on television was they gave him some punk-ass money, and they flew him out to Cali. In his mind, he's like, fuck it, free vacation, I get a little bag, right. and they pay everything. I respect his train of thought at that moment. But he has a great job now. Yeah. Hitting the music uh, scene heavy again. Mm. So hopefully he succeeds because when I look at him, I look at, I see Chrissy. He did and I want, yeah, he I did want Chrissy him. to win with him. You know yeah, what I mean? So love side, is love. And, and that's it. That's all I got to say about that. But it, w it was a good interview. Check it out. It's on uh, Flip the Script. Uh, Bully. It was dope. It was dope. I see you trying to hide questions over there. What's up with this? We done with this? Yeah, we done with that. Yo, not for nothing. Five dollars, I hit the camera. PayPal ready in there? Who PayPal ready? You? You? you PayPal back, ready? You got to back up the product. Job. PayPal? PayPal ready? Who PayPal ready? You? Who that? Austin? You? Who I that Pete? I believe he's going to miss it. Who that Curly? He's going to miss it. Boom! Uh, 
Yeah, you got it. Send my five dollars, <laughs> man. I hit it right Especially on. Especially JP too, the nigga with the accurate integrity. Yeah, send yeah, that, yeah, man. Send Manny that money, too. Truth eight four five. Yeah, yeah we got Captain you, ass, nigga. King Cap. Oh, that's King. King Cap. King Cap. Talking about you ain't gonna hit Rihanna with the yeast. You lying? Lying ass. King Cap. I'm trying to keep the air out. I see you. Captain ass, nigga. All right. Question number one. If your life depends on one person mm. to call and they have to pick up first time, I mean they ring all the way through. But once you go to voicemail, you're dead. Who, who will be? pick up? Uh, can I say who I won't? No, first? that's not. Oh, that's, that's fun. Nice. That's fun. No, that's nice. All right. So if my life depended on it and that person had to pick up immediately, think about it. Think about it. Wow. I'll go first. Who is he? Nobody. Nobody? <laughs> nah, Chew. I, the, the, first of all, fuck this list. Let's go to who ain't pick it up. The last person on my list is my girl. Not even... She don't pick up? Hell no, my nigga. That girl, no, man. Usually no. women are... You know what? That's no. who... No. That's who I would pick to save my life. My old lady. She would pick up in a heartbeat. Not no matter where. That's my nigga. That's my road dog. I'm not calling her. That's my twin. That's my twin. That's my twin. person on my list to call. I'm not calling her. Okay, so who else? What so you, you doing either. five? I'm gonna call you. All right, so me. So your old lady, me. She's first. I mean, I'm doing this in order. Her, you, Donnie, CB. C bitch ass. Oh, God, forget about it. That oh. nigga called me two weeks later. Yo, you called? <laughs> nah, I didn't call. Nah, that wasn't me. <laughs> but that nah, nigga. Last. Are your moms? Are your dad? Nah, my moms. Nah, my moms. Dad, they did not. Nah, they, they, they. You know it's, it's two. It's all two. Right, I call right, the second time. All right, all right. I don't know. Five. I don't know. I don't know who five is. Manny. Manny. Manny off the rail. Oh yeah. No. I should have put spoon first. No, Manny's number one. I should have put spoon. That's first. crazy. You said that Manny's number one. <laughs> I should have put spoon first. Manny <laughs> Pete, number one. Yeah, yeah. I would not call him. Yeah. This guy yeah. never picks up. Yeah, I, I might want to change my girl to put Manny. Manny's probably the worst. And Manny's ringer's on! Yeah, Manny's probably the worst. Manny P. All right, I got Manny P. Two. Zeus. Definitely Zeus. King Cap. King Cap. King Cap. <laughs> Talking about you, I ain't see it. I've been around yeah. the nigga. And he, yeah, we know Zeus. I've been around you, nigga. Uh, so I got Manny P. I got Zeus. Um... Damn. Even Poncho answers me. Pon yeah, Poncho would answer. Poncho answers me. Everybody answered me, man. I'm a, I, I'm a swell guy. Um, Man, who the hell? I don't really call nobody. I gave you a solid five, my nigga. No, you gave me four. <laughs> I gave, nah. You gave me four. I threw Manny in there. All right, so I'm going Manny P, Zeus, Colombian Ed, <laughs> How's free? Not free pickup. Oh, free, right. free, free pickup. Pick 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 <laughs> and I don't know. I can't say Jamie. Jamie picks up. Jamie picks up. Oh, I and, threw that nigga in there too. And, and Jamie, J not Jamie, my, Jamie, my road dog. Jamie, Jamie would pick if Jamie. I know, I know how to call Jamie. If he doesn't pick up by the second ring, I know he's busy. I won't bother him. I get a call back right away. Call that nigga but I'm, go, I'm going three. Colombian Ed, Manny P. Zeus, and I'm gonna throw. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it. Jesus Christ in there. No, he ain't pick it up. Man. Jesus Christ ain't picking up. He ain't got no folks. <laughs> he ain't paid that bill yet. So, granted, I don't have nobody I know I would call to pick up. If I had to pick somebody, maybe my mom. Your mom? She do be answered because you know she need a couple coins. So, you, know, you know she got Yo, <laughs> I remember we used to take her to work in the yeah, Subi. Yeah, I know, man. Yo, this nigga Vic would be like, yo, ah, come on, man. I got to go. Let's go get my mom. I got to take her to work. Come take this ride with me. I bet. We pick her up. Am I allowed to say this and do this? Well, it depends on what you're saying. Oh, I'm about to score on your mom, Paul. No, nah, don't do that. <laughs> nah, don't do that. I ain't going to disrespect her. Go ahead, then. All right, so she get in. As soon as she get in. Complain. Oh, Victor. <laughs> this, 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 that. This, 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 that. None of you kids love me. I raised you from this. And I'm like, Ma, we've been taking you to work. 
on your off day. Every day, we man. We took you to work six days this week. You only worked four. <laughs> and right before she about to get out, Victor, let me get $20. Every day. Hey, like, yo, Vic. That man. lady got rich on but, yo, I, I used to tell you, yo, Vic, man, your mama leech. You like, yo, don't say that, yo. It's my mom, like, Your mama leech, man. She giving us she giving us the Calvin story, man. <laughs> <laughs> mama Love was back there giving us the Calvin. And then, and then I used to always tell her, yo, Mama Love, when you going to make some mock sales? When you buy it. Yeah, yo, she still says that. When you buy it. Yeah, when you buy it, she'll <laughs> make it. Buy it. <laughs> we got you. You buy it. Big mom used to say, no, 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 no. When you buy it. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was good. Mama love. I love That mama. was funny. <laughs> Damn, she's <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs> Yo, what would happen if the Graham got rid of all his filters? Oh, man. Uh, all of them. Done. Nuclear weapons would be just engaging on their own. Shit would just, it would be a catastrophe. Half of these chicks that be catfishing. Oh. Let me tell you something about catfishing, boys and girls. You think? Don't go too crazy. I'm not going to go too crazy on it. This is my theory, though. This is no shame to the big women. Right, here we go. If she ain't 280, she ain't a lady. lady. Yeah, that's All true. right? If she, ain't a, if she ain't around 280, she ain't a lady. She nope. got to be a big mama. Big nope. comfort. Now, I ain't no discrimination. Big woman. There ain't nothing wrong with But when shorty taking the picture like this, it's a big woman. And she trying to hide something. Oh, when Shorty take the one laying down and the boobies is by her chin? Yeah. Oh, you can't hide that. That's a big one. <laughs> you can't hide that at all. So watch out for the catfish, my guys. I don't think these niggas care. Be watch honest. out for the catfish, man. If you don't see the if you don't see the shoes, the head photo, the big one with the when they do this and they do that stance, every woman does that. Every girl does that stance. The bow legged shit. No, nah, not they like kick one up yeah. so their ass can look, look bigger. Yeah, they're, they're tri- like, girl, <laughs> you better do that. You know, make that thing look. You know. You know how that thing supposed to look. Yeah, put some of that on it. Cross, cross. <laughs> Can't get <Yeah>. right. <laughs> this one for you, you baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they be doing. The girl, like, this one for you. Yo, this one might be a little harder. Yeah. This one might be a little harder. Yeah, yeah, All right? Yeah. Give me one of your best pickup lines back in the day. So whether that be high school, junior high, whatever. Yeah. Or complimentary you would give a girl. And it worked every time? No, it didn't have to work. Just oh, give me I, one I that you a, thought. I, I got a line that worked every time. What? Go up to the girl. Excuse me, girl. Excuse me, uh, woman, girl. I have a problem. Dude, what? I think you look beautiful, but I just don't know how to ask you out. Do you mind asking me out? Because I'm going to say yes, but I just don't know how to ask you. Like, I don't know what the right line is. That bullshit might work back in the day. No, that bullshit might work. 10 out of 10, baby. No, that bullshit. I was reeling them in like trout. I used to just stalk them. Yeah, that was it. Stalk they fucking ass until they were like, my nigga, come on. So, uh, what was yours? Yeah, I know. That was my line. You ain't have a line? Nah, I used to just tell everybody I love you. You used to text them that or DM them that? Or no, no, message them you, back in no, the day. No, there was no messages back there. It was back in the day? Face you to ever face. Wrote? I love you, man. What the fuck are you talking about? Love you. What the fuck you want to do now? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> I fucking love you. Like, what, yeah. do you, what you want me to tell you? What if she put you in that friend zone? <laughs> I love you too, man. Yeah, you crazy. my brother. Oh, you're off me, man. You mean I'm your brother. Yeah, that's, bitch. that's nasty. That never happened to me before, though. Thank God. Oh, I don't you, know how oh, I feel. Oh, you knocked him down every time? Nah, no. no I'm not saying you knocked dead. him down. Oh, okay. No, I was like, <laughs> I thought I got dead. Yeah, my line worked. Yeah, I never You're welcome. One. I love you. That was it. Uh, boo, 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 boo. I love you is underrated. I love you is underrated? Yeah, it's underrated. Because it works. <laughs> it works. Well, it worked. Oh, man. It works. It works. Is it okay for your girl to have a work husband? What? Or a work boo? No, because I've seen it on TV. White people? Yeah, it was a white couple. I knew it. You're talking about your work husband? I was like, this nigga just said that? What's a work husband consist of? A dude that goes, that your wife is at work with every day. They go out to eat. They talk. 
They fuck? No, they don't fuck. They, they don't do no <laughs> fucking and touching and kissing. They don't yeah, do none of that. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, they don't do that. Yeah, okay. And let me tell you something. If your old lady is going out with her co-worker after work and having drinks, that nigga dicking her down, nigga. That's what I said. <laughs> the fuck is you talking <laughs> about, work dude? Husband allowed over you here. over fuck here crazy. looking like a sucker. Am I allowed to have a work wife? Work. You know what I mean? Because I'm trying to hit that. But, nah. Okay. Well, I look like ex- ex- telling my problems to a female, having a, a, a meal and a drink with her, and after that, just be like, all right, I'll see you at work tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck that noise. Uh, <laughs> where we go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to ask you. Yours, so. your place, or the telly? You can Because you can't go to mine. That's crazy. That's, that's a real thing, though. I never knew that. No, white people. I never knew no, that. white people love never having work that. husband. Never knew that. One thing I seen the other day. You got a would you hold it down question? No. Damn, how are you going to miss this week? And I could don't, I honestly did forget. <sighs> I had a lot of shit going on. What? I repl- I'm sorry, no, I replaced it. Go ahead. When was the last time you seen a person? Nah, I can't even say it like that. If you still piss as a man and pull your shirt up and do one of these... Yeah. You can't be trusted. Buddy. You can't? No. Nah, man. No, that means you do it. You cannot be nah. trusted. No. Nah. You can't do You <laughs> can't <laughs> do one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do one of these to fist, my nigga. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, my God. No, you cannot you can't be do trusted. That. Yo, you speak, cannot be trusted. speaking of trusted, niggas said Jamie's so quiet. They said, yo, what would you do if you run up on Jamie like you about to fight him? Like, yo, what the fuck is the deal, man? You got fucking problem with me? And that nigga goes. What? What's up? Oh, I'm backing niggas nah. up right away. Ho, ho. Yo, 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 yo. Get Jamie, away Jamie, you cheating number nah. one. Nah. Hold on. This Hold nigga, on. <laughs> this nigga, the enter the last dragon type. Yeah. Bruce, Bruce Leroy. Leroy. <laughs> Word. If you run up on Jamie at the track and that nigga do one of these? Nigga? The fuck, you crazy? And he's still talking to you, nigga? You crazy? Fuck you doing? I'm like, ho, 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 Jamie, Jamie. Jamie, we trying to go home tonight. Nigga, hold on now. What you about? What don't you got? <laughs> what dojo you what from, dojo you from, What nigga? dojo you from, nigga? What dojo you from, nigga? Who are you, nigga? How many, yeah. how many black pieces of tape you got on that <laughs> belt, nigga? Imagine. The, imagine, he, he, right. imagine he do that, right? Like, he do this on the nigga, right? Mm. Jamie washed the nigga. You like, yo, Jamie. But nigga, we never knew you can even do this. Yeah, like, yo, you see, y'all didn't ask me. Because I'm so quiet. I've been wearing my karate suit under my clothes the entire time you knew me. <laughs> Takes it off. It's got a black belt with four red stripes on it. And he do one of these with the Leroy shit with yeah, the eye on? it goes like that. Don't underestimate. Tiger Claw, nigga? I would fucking die laughing. I pee in my pants. I would fucking I'm pee in my pants. I would fucking die laughing. <laughs> I Jamie will to pee me. my pants. But Jamie, listen to me, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. I'm whatever, sorry. Whatever that nigga did. Man. I'm sorry for that man right there. Trying to do just you. You can't even pull a weapon. That dude that sleeping nigga. right there with his wrist the other way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for him. <laughs> he run up on a nigga. He do one, yeah. Not for not anybody do that in the street. Oh, 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 oh. Anybody got a weapon? <laughs> Nobody got no weapons? Oh, Man, we gonna you, lose never, you never did that shit as a kid? Watch like a karate movie, come downstairs to play and thought you knew. What's yeah, up? and got beat up. And got, oh yeah, I got my ass yeah, got beat up. I got beat up by a dyke. I got set it on by a nigga that did this with his tongue. Yeah, he said it. He stole it. He yeah, he stole it. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck you said? He said, he said, Oh, shit. shit. Yeah, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, he got his tongue out. Punch wake up. me. Very dangerous. I was watching WWF, and the Ultimate Warrior used to run into the to the wrestling ring and mm-hmm. shake the bell, shake the thing, right? So I went downstairs. I was probably like, probably like seven, eight years old. And my Ray, our barber, mm-hmm. his cousin was a dyke. And she was like a tomboy. And I went, they were all hanging out by the mailbox. So I came downstairs, like, yeah, I'm the ultimate warrior. And I run to them, and they like, run. and I grab the mailbox, and I shake, and I'm like, dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun. And she said, yo, what the fuck you doing? Boop. 
Yo, I ran upstairs crying so fast, bro. My mom was like, what happened? Why are you crying? I said, no, and I fell, I fell. I ain't want to tell her I got that beat was, up by yeah. a dyke. Let yeah. that bitch try that shit now, though. You can't hit no woman. She's not one. She's young and me. You can't yeah. hit no woman. If she got a strap on on legally through the uh, oh, no, that's, that's New York name. penal system, that's she's she's uh, considered a nigga. That's a nigga, for sure. For sure. Uh, section penal. 3846 in the Article 17, you can you can beat up a, a, a dyke with a, a strap on. Would you have... Would you fight? What would you do if you about to fight a dyke? You like, yo, chill, bitch. I ain't hitting no female. And she grab her strap on and go, suck my dick, nigga. She grab her strap on and it's on. That means you can fight her. No, man. man. Still a female, man. No. I would be so disrespected, man. I can't knock shorty head Let me tell you something about shorty. dykes. You don't try to think you can go out there and beat them up. They will cut you faster. Oh, yeah, they cut you for sure. They will cut you faster than service on Sunday. Yeah, they you. will cut you quick. They dyke stay with a blade. I got bleach on them too. Yup. Yeah. Battery acid, Battery all that acid, shit. They man. yo dykes ain't nothing to be fucked with, man. Shout out to all the dykes you out there. These niggas don't know though. Don't land wrong. These niggas don't be no on land them, nigga. Land wrong. Steve Drive. What's up? Fuck. <laughs> Steve PB, Drive on that. PBG, they. PBG on land wrong them. <laughs> I'm like little Reese in them. Little Reese. Reese in them. Steve oh, Drive them. Land riding them. Them. Yo, is land this thing even straight? This. Yeah. Straight to me. Yo, they said um, uh, on the... Um, oh, I had a question. But they said that uh, we should wait for sponsors. That's what their response was. Okay. So they said that we, sh- we shouldn't be... Uh we shouldn't be asking for it. What do you guys think about this podcast, man? This gun cast? One dude asked about the flat earth theory, and I'm not big on that, so I have no idea. I'm ready to tackle it. Let's have some fun. Go ahead. You know uh, more than me. Flat earth theory is just a bunch of way... It's just a way for you fucking bored... Uh, high ass motherfuckers to talk about shit. So you're high. You've got a few things to do. You can eat or you can talk about bullshit. You guys have decided to talk about bullshit, which is the, which is the flat Earth theory. He had a whole thing in there, though. I can't yeah, say the theory. Yeah, I ain't listen to the me. The whole thing in there. Listen to me. Trap and Lefty talk about it all the time. That's why I thought mm-hmm. Trappy was gonna be here. Trappy, you can elaborate on that shit. Trap don't know shit. Trap goes, what happens if you make a left? You just made a left, nigga. Wait, what happens if you make another left? What did left? And what say? happens if you make another left? I told you it's flat. You be back in the same place. Yeah. But what did lefty say? If you drill a hole straight through the earth, you'll be. You're supposed to be in China. <laughs> he said, if you drill a hole through the earth, you're gonna end up in. No, I think he said the other side. <laughs> uh, he was fucking it up, but I think that's what he I, tried. Nah, I think if you drill it straight, ooh, you might be on the other side. I forgot, man. I'm Le- like, Lefty, Le- Le- what? Lefty smokes at least 19 blunts around me. He cannot stop and smoking. He was dead serious. Yeah, he'd he be dead serious. Lefty, what the fuck are you talking about? These flat earth theory guys, they got to calm that shit all the way down. Yeah, man. Got, what I else you got? Nothing on the fucking flat earth theory at all. Nothing on flat earth. I've never looked. I've never tried. I'm I've not never interested. Cared. Listen to me. All right, this is what I want to say about flat earth. Per- me personally, with with all due respect to all of you out there, let's say our president Donald Trump comes out today mm. and goes, guys, state of emergency. I have an announcement to make. All the TV is changed to this channel. You are. You have to listen to this announcement. Here we go. 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. The president is going live. He has an, uh, the, the biggest announcement in the history of mankind. Yeah. Now, everyone is tuned in. The radio stations are tuned in, everything like that. And he goes, ladies and gentlemen, the people of the world, I have been assigned to tell you this. The earth is flat. It's not round. You gotta work tomorrow. Yeah. Rent's due. Yeah. You still gotta pay that car note. Yeah. And uh, you I, st- you gotta eat. I personally nothing don't, don't changes. See what would, Who gives a shit? Only thing I could see that would make a definitely overnight change. Honest to God. Funding NASA? No. No. An honest to God overnight change. I'm like, if it came out now, tomorrow <coughs> is fucking. It's a shit show. Mm. It's if they say yes, we've been uh, bamboozled with religion. It's not real. Heaven and hell doesn't exist. Religion? I, I That's where I would see the overnight change right away. 
I think you would see it the first 30 seconds once it's announced. After right it's announced. Yo, here goes the things here, how we was here, how what happened. This I, is what it is. Hey, you, you know. know what? This is against my religion to say this, but I'm just going to flat out say this. I believe religion is law. It was made by the elite. My fear, too. And it just scares you. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not kill. But Thou shall not. Us. But they steal and kill us. Too. <laughs> like that is. Whatever. To each his own. So, so what, what I think is the way that the world is set up. <clears throat> long time ago, this, these laws came into effect as to how to keep the elite in power. Mm -hmm. And the way to keep the elite in power is to create a structure called religion. Now, there's some... St how many testaments are there of the Bible? You know, how many different versions of the Torah is there or the Quran or whatever? Well, Kavina, and no disrespect to anyone's religion. And I'm Muslim. I should not even be speaking like this. But I'm just speaking... You know, freely right Logically. Now. I'm speaking logically. If you show up to this country and you go, fuck this country. Or you show up to the Philippines and you go, fuck Philippines. I'm not running by your laws. I'm running around and I'm killing and I'm stealing. That's y'all laws. I'll leave and I'll go to another country and I'll do the same thing. But if they say it's against your religion and you're going to hell... Why do people find God in jail? You know what I mean? Why do they find God in jail? Like, why do they... How, first of all, how do you find God in jail if you're confined to a cell? Wouldn't you find God the when Bible. you're... They're reading. Okay, so you read the Bible. There's plenty of people that have read the Bible in the public and it doesn't change them. They don't find God. There's children that are born in Catholic school, and by the time they're teenagers, they're doing everything against what they learned in Catholic school. What I don't personally agree with is forcing religion on anybody. I don't no, you shouldn't. That. Listen. I don't agree with it at all. I love my religion. That's all I got That's say. all that matters. I love my religion. It has, it has, you know, the Bible is by far the greatest story ever written. It will never be topped. The Bible is phenomenal. The story, yes, that's the best story in the world. The story of the twelve disciples, you know, Virgin Mary, uh, Judas, and and you know, the coin thing is so dope. Like how he betrayed Jesus, and and it happens till this day. And this happened BCs ago. Mm -hmm. How many thousands of years ago? How come you don't hear about that though? What happened BC ago? Yeah, what happened in BC? There was people here before. Yeah, was there thou thou, thou shall not steal or thou you know what whatever these commandments are? I mean, were, were they around? So each is on. I'm not here to persuade anybody. No, no, right? we're, hey, we're shooting the yeah, shits. Yeah, I'm we're not shooting here to the shits, anybody. man. I, hope, I know how religion goes. Listen, people take man, it to the I heart hope and no all one, you guys are sinners. And... Guys, I thank God every day. Word. Every single day. You guys see me. I thank God every single day. I thank God when something good happens. I don't wait until something bad happens. Today I got the truck. I thank God on the ride. Hey, you know what? Thank you so I much. I even thank God when something bad happens to me because it opened up my eyes and showed me. It did. Yeah. Even when I, I learned from shit that I, I know I should avoid. But I'm hard-headed. I like to get f fuck up first. And they be like, damn, I knew that was going to happen. I well, when you, ha when you have children, you'll respect that more too, Vic. Because yeah, right. it's like, you know, you don't want to see them go through that pain that you did. So look at our generation. This is a perfect example, right? So I believe, you know... Parents that were born in the late 50s, early 60s, early 70s are cheap as fuck. Oh. Right? But then look at our generation. Like the parents that were born in the 80s. We don't allow our children to wear the same sneakers. We have let them have a lot of clothes. We take them on vacations. Do we know if our parents had the same opportunities but they were cheap? Honestly, guys, everyone around the age of like 55 and older is a cheap motherfucker. I guess because they had it harder. That's, yeah, that's you know what I mean? Up. So they're just holding on to that money. And I tell that to my mom all the time. I'm like, Mom, you're a multi-millionaire, man. You really, like, you've been driving the same Mercedes for f yeah, that, 15 that years. Don't drive that. Yeah, but you know what? Enjoy your life. i never seen a Brinks truck follow the hearse. But that's that's the thing. Which is dope, too. But that's the thing, though. They grew up. This is a different time. That's a whole different time. It was work, save your money, 
and save it, uh, plan for a rainy day. It, that, it wasn't work. Save your money and enjoy it at a certain age. But am I am I bugging right now, it Gunners? Am I bugging that. right now? Like, are, are our parents, like our parents, if you're 30 years old and older, are our parents cheaper than our generation? Because we buy sneakers. We buy our kids stuff. We buy, we take them on vacations. We, you know, we, we might, we might, you know, I remember when we used to go school shopping one time. Yeah, that was it. How That's many, it. How many times are you supposed to go? I go three times. Well, spring, know. you know, you know, spring, fall, fall uh, winter, winter, and then the summer's coming. You freshen up your kids. Yeah. We do that. Our generation, you know, eighties babies, nineties, but I mean. our parents, man, <laughs> my school clothes lasted two, three years. My man. school clothes wasn't even buy, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I had hand me downs from. From neighbors and everything. My uh, mom would wash. She tried, like, though, this man. Ah, oh, man. They tried. Listen, it's so much harder back in the days for foreigners because they were still dealing with bigger racism. You know what I mean? That racism back then was bigger. It's like, you yeah, fucking... You know, you... I don't want to say some of these words, but it's like, yeah, you fucking disrespectful. Foreign, you know, they were really disrespectful, yeah. so it is harder. Still same shit now. Just got to know how to give it back. Hey, listen, man. After this gun cast, when you guys watch it, racism will never end in America. It'll never end. They're Ever. Already, they're already... Tra- I know a guy... It's a trillion dollar company. Never I know end. a guy that's training his basically six, seven-year-old kid to not like black people. Yeah, see, I would never want to know that. I know him personally, and when he does it, I walk away from him, and he laughs like it's a joke. And I'm like, dude... When his son gets his head stomped, then when he gets to school, then, you know. And then he's going to hate black people. He's going to be a racist. And he's going to teach his children that black people are bad. And you know what, though? I guarantee you karma catches up to that father. I no longer speak to the dude, honestly. Because the shit disgusted me, man. Yeah, I don't play with those. No, it's it, it's disgusting. The racism shit, I don't like. Yeah. But um, it's I tasteless. Know, yeah, I don't know, guys. Maybe after this gun cast, man. If you have your parents, man, I ain't seen my mom in a long time, man. I ain't seen my dad in a long time. If you have your parents, man, maybe right after this gun cast, call man, them. just randomly surprise them. Either yeah. hug them or call them. Hell yeah. Why man. not, man? Come on, make their day. Cracking. Just call them. <laughs> what, what? Two minutes of your time. And they will never forget that two minutes. As they get older, they get lonelier. You know what I mean? You're living your life. They feel like, hey, I can't I can't call my son or I can't have him do what what he used to do when he was younger because now he has, you know, three children, you know, his kids are in school, he has a wife, he lives here, he moved over here, he has a job here. I just call and say thank you. Yeah, fuck up your parents' head and just call and be like, Ma, Dad. Just want to say thank you, man. I love you. Thank yeah. you for everything when I was younger. And they have to bring you up to 18 years old. You know that, right? There's there's deadbeats out there that have never seen their I children. call my mom because my, my parents are different. They yeah. grew up rough, so they don't... Um, that's why I, emotion's not shown on my family. Well, my, my, family. My, dad's, my dad's the same way as yeah, your dad. My dad, my shown. dad, I think I probably heard my dad say he loved me about 10 times. Yeah, I if I can remember thing. that. But if, I know he does. You know he does. No, he does. It's just they're, you know, they're tough, Brilliant. man. Yeah, they're just, just fucking different. tough. You know, these guys are foreigners that were brought up fucking militant, man. You know what I mean? There was no school. What, what, what the fuck is school? You got to go to work and help us with this house. Now their only job when they came here was to get us to school. Yeah. And I fucked that up. All your moms and dads out there, man, God bless y'all, man. I hope you, you guys can get in contact with them. But And I think that's a good way to leave. Yeah, dope. Yeah. Um, you got to like, guys. Comment, subscribe. Give us some feedback, man. Spread the channel. We're almost at 20,000 followers. Right. We can give that manifold away. Um, me and Vicky love you guys. We appreciate all the reposts on Instagram. Yeah. We appreciate all the comments. Seriously, man, we don't really see this ending no time soon. Our consistency is here. But most importantly, thank you for being here. Word. Appreciate y'all, man. Keep running, my brothers. Aurora Sex. Project Driver X. Whoa, hold on, family. (laughs)